And hello, wherever you are, this is the scene here in the great city of Barcelona. We're at the RCDE Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Espanyol against Atletico Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Morata. Chance to take the lead. Well, decent save there. Playing it in, and a struggle to get it away properly. Can they get in behind them? Morata, it should be an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Dennis Suarez. And very adept at holding the ball up in this manner. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. Now the delivery, well he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. And over it comes, oh, no end product. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Koke, breaking at pace. Carrasco. Now Morata. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Potential danger here. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Well, inching towards half time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they can't miss, surely. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar and clears the danger. Darter. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. An awful lot of green space to run into. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here in Cornea El Prat.
Well, first half positives where Yannick Carrasco is concerned. Interested. In And so the second half underway, Atletico with the lead, but who knows, there might still be a few twists and turns in this game. Chance to cross. Ray Nildo. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. could level it he takes aim tremendous block Morata now Griezmann Llorente so deflection and they can get ready for the corner kick routine in by Griezmann not the best clearance Morata and strong play here well a top-notch piece of defensive judgment counter-attacking very much an option do they have the guile to open up the defense well, didn't go to plan in the end Vidal, oh maybe the equaliser and the keeper more than equal to it and here's a change now for Atletico well just listen to the fans they know this is a big chance here and over comes the corner well as a defender that will sit you down to the ground very quick thinking there. Marcos Llorente. Coque. Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot of cross, have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? Dennis Suarez. And good work from Atletico to win the ball back. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And let's see an attacking position. It's not too late for them. The cross is on. Superbly read and executed. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Morata. Llorente. Preferring to go infield. The danger not over. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. 
And one thing about Yannick Carrasco, and it's true, he kept asking questions throughout the game. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.